Morning, America's most talked about program. And now, here he is, Mr. This Is Your Life himself, Ralph Edwards. Don't go away tonight. I warn you, don't leave the set. This is going to... Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on This Is Your Life. Now, tonight we have a startling surprise in store for you. Now, listen to this. We're going to recreate not one, but two lives. Who they are. Now, right now, our two subjects are in room 205 of the Hollywood Knickerbocker Hotel. That's just a short block from here, just behind our theater, as a matter of fact. And they're talking to a friend of theirs, one of England's most prominent producers, Mr. Bernard Delfont of London, whom we've brought here to Hollywood just to make our surprise work. Now listen, we have a television camera hidden behind French doors in the kitchenette, you see, of the hotel suite over there. Now on my signal, the door uh, will fly open, so the doors will go open, the lights will go on, the uh, speaker will go on so they can hear, and, well, you'll see what happens, I think. All right now, everything ready, boys? Here we go. Take it away. Camera number five in the kitchenette <laughs> of suite 205 at the Hollywood Knickerbocker Hotel. Here we go. Open. Mr. Stan Laurel, Mr. Oliver Hardy. Uh, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. This, uh, this is Ralph Edwards speaking to you from the El Capitan Theater on Vine Street here in Hollywood. You're very good friends there, Mr. Bernard Delfont. Mr. Delfont, hello. Where are, yeah, there you are. And Mr. Ben Shipman. Hello, Mr. Shipman. Hello, sir. Yes, they have joined prize tribute to one of the greatest comedy teams of our time. Two heads, two bodies, but one big laugh for over 30 years. Tonight, Thank this you. is your life. <laughs> <laughs> I should say these are your lives. Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. Laurel and Hardy. We have a wonderful evening planned for you. Please hurry downstairs and come over to our theater stage. Uh, Mr. <laughs> How you doing, boys? <laughs> Fifty million of your fans are eager to see your lives unfold. Lives that have brought the blessing of laughter to a, <laughs> to a troubled world for some 35 years. <laughs> Now, this is the first time, ladies and gentlemen, we've ever brought you two lives at once. Whether we're going to bring them to you or not tonight, we don't know, because they're, uh, they're due to arrive any second from the Hollywood Knickerbocker right behind us here. Uh, the lives of Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. And if you've just tuned in, stick around, because uh, from what's gone on beforehand, this is liable to be the greatest night that we've ever spent on This Is Your Life. We've had more fun preparing this program than have uh, any of them the programs that we've uh, done. We even went to the trouble of bringing Mr. Bernard Delfont all the way from London, New York, here, just to surprise these two uh, boys because uh, Mr. Ben Shipman, their manager and longtime friend, said, look, there's only one person, I think, who, uh, who will fool these two fellas or who's going to uh, command enough interest for them to get away from their home, their wives, long enough. Of course, they brought their wives down with them. You saw them there, and you're going to see them a little later. To get them away and uh, to fool them, that would be Mr. Delphine. And uh, so that's what we did. And I'm still talking. I'd like to say a, two, a few words about Texas, you know. <laughs> two minutes before these guys get here. No, seriously, uh, we have received more cooperation on this program than we have on uh, practically any program that we have done. Uh, we receive cooperation on everyone, but on this, the, everybody loves Oliver and uh, uh, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. For myself, this is sort of a, oh, I don't know, a little personal thing because I think those of us who are in, the, uh, in certain lines of uh, uh, comedy, uh, go back to another show that I have, why maybe some of the things uh, we learn pretty much from watching these fellas, I can remember in knee pants going down to the Grand Lake Theater in Oakland and, and watching. They uh, took a taxi, did they, boys? They in, uh, we timed this out before, and <laughs> I said, I can go. They're here? Oh, thank goodness, because that was my last ad lib. Here they come now, our two principal subjects, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. I think I have been told. Oh, my. This is more than a two-reeler. Here they come. Welcome. Wonderful 
thrill for a change, boys. Let him get a look at you coast to coast. You don't mind this trick we pulled on you? Because, boy, this guy, Del Font and, uh, and Shipman, sit down over here. I think uh, you sit right over... <laughs> Had to go sit over there, uh, Mr. Hardy over there, Stan Laurel, right here, if you will, please. Yes, Wait. no, right, right oh. here. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Snuggle. Are you going to be room for all three of you, uh, two of you there? Yes, I, uh, I guess that's going to be fine. You know, we had it worked out. We thought we'd better put you in a car to get you. Then I know we run into a lot of trouble that way. We should have had you run it, or maybe you did. I Boys, did. you did. All right, these are your lives. <laughs> well, that's familiar. It's said that laughter is the highest gift of the gods. Well, sometime near the start of the 20th century, it came time for you to be born, Stan and Oliver, so laughter rolled down from the blue vault of the skies and broke into two parts. You, Stan Laurel, are the first half. You're born at uh, Ulverston in Lancashire, uh, England, right, Stan? And uh, your stage name is now Stan Laurel. What was your real name, Stan? You want to tell me? You want to tell me? Jefferson. Jeff, that's nice. Stanley Jefferson. Stanley? Was there a name before that? Arthur. Arthur Stanley. Oh. <laughs> when English schoolmasters called the role and came to the name of Arthur Stanley Jefferson, they seldom got an answer. Stan, were you there all the time? Sometimes you used to sort of like to skip school once in a while, didn't once you? Once in a while. Once in a while. And as you... What are you laughing at, Mr. Hardy, over here? Yeah, oh, all right. As you grow up, <laughs> Father tries hard to get you uh, to learn the business end of the theater. That's right. Stan took tickets at the box office, but longed for the day when he could take a funny fall or say a funny line on the stage. Now, there's a voice from your boyhood days, Stan. Uh, I don't know if you can guess whose voice it is. <laughs> Not... No, he was your childhood playmate, and he's flown here from England to surprise you. From North Shields, England, here's your friend, Mr. Roland, Roland Park. <laughs> and then Mr. Hardy over here, Roland. Yeah, so Stan longed to be a comedian from boyhood, did he, Mr. Park? That's right. I, I uh, remember his first chance on the stage uh, when his father had the Metropole Theatre in Glasgow. You remember that, Stan? And... Uh, <coughs> Stan was there in his stuff, and uh, uh, while he was parading up and down, there was a gentleman sitting right in the front of the stalls, and he kept looking at Stan, and Stan thought, I seem to know that face. Yeah, uh -huh.